Hi, good morning to our weekly devotion. I'm Pastor Tanny. We are still in the Easter season. Jesus is still appearing to his disciples. This time it's far up north. It's no longer in Jerusalem or on a road to Emmaus. This time it's in Galilee. And Peter decides he's had enough waiting. And so he says, I'm going to go fish. So he went fishing. Six others went with him. Some of them were in the boat, didn't catch anything at night. The next morning, very early in the morning, which is pretty what Jesus likes to do, uh, reveals himself by asking his disciples. He uses the word children. Children, you got any fish? Have you caught anything? And of course their response is no, nothing. He said, well, try the right side. And they did. And they catch huge amount of fish. And they're large. In fact, they cannot get the fish in the boat. They have to drag it. So, John realizes it's the Lord. And though they don't recognize him right away, um, John does. I guess he revealed himself in the fish. I guess that's where we carry little fish around to let us know we're one of the catch. We're part of the catch uh, that the gospel does as it throws its net over um, people. Well, uh, Peter, impetuous as he is, he, like, he jumps out of the boat and finds himself completely wet before the Lord. And they notice that the Lord already has a breakfast for them. Uh, continental kind of breakfast. Fish and bread. There's so much going on that kind of takes you back to past experiences. Like the feeding of the 5,000. The first time they had the miracle of fish. The time they were asked to follow Jesus. All this is happening. But what really is happening is that Peter and Jesus get a little conversation at a charcoal fire, which um, probably reminds him of the time he denied Jesus three times, warming himself at a charcoal fire. And Jesus comes up with this question, do you love me? I guess that's what we always should hear every morning. Do you love me? How much do you love Jesus? I don't know. Normally, uh, if someone says, do you love me? You say, sure, I love you. We don't take much into account. Um, and we say, yeah, I love you. No sacrifice on my part. I just repeat what I think and feel. But Jesus isn't content with that answer. Nor was it with Peter. Peter, do you love me? Well, now you're starting to think about it, and maybe you should do something about it. And so, yeah, I love you. I'll show you how much I love you. I'll give an offering to the mission field. I'll give offering to church. It's more than just words. It's a token. <coughs> He's not done, is he? It will be three times, Jesus asked. <coughs> Peter, do you love me? Of course, by now, Peter, he's kind of getting it and a little frustrated with it. He says, you know I love you. Of course I love you. Love. Jesus is content for you to share the love you have for him with others. That's what he says to Peter three times. Feed my sheep. Tend to my lambs. Feed my sheep if you love me. And some may actually go out into the mission field. Some actually volunteer. Some actually spend time and energy and money out of love for others. Loving others. It's not a feeling. It's a command. It's the law. Love, feed my sheep. In other words, 
if you haven't told anybody about Jesus and his love, you may ask yourself, how much do I love Jesus? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we have failed in our love for you and especially our love for others. But your pierced hands and pierced feet have forgiven us completely of our negligence and love for others. Help us not to see ourselves, but to see others and see you in others, that we may continue with the great commission of feeding sheep. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.